let's learn a little bit more about the moon phases. So half of the moon is always going to be lit up from the sun. So we can see here, all of these parts here on the moon, as it revolves around the earth, are not able to get sunlight. So this part here on the moon always gets the sunlight. And then the other back half is has a shadow cast over it. So there are going to be times that even though half of the moon is always lit up, we still won't be able to see any of it because of the position compared to the Earth. So there are eight main phases of the moon that are going to be created as the moon revolves around the Earth. So we're going to go through each of these phases. So we're going to start here with the waxing crescent. So we can't, from Earth, see this side because the sun is reflecting over here on the moon. And we can actually only see this part right here of the moon from Earth. All of this over here, even though it's lit up, is being blocked by the moon itself. So all we can see is this little pie, which actually to us appears as this crescent shape. The next moon phase is the first quarter moon. So again, this part back here is in a shadow. We can't see it. And from Earth, all we can see is this part right here. So to us, it's going to look like a half of a moon. But if we look up here, we can actually see one out of one, two, three, four parts of it. So one out of four is called a quarter, and that's where it gets its name. So it's going to look like a half, So, but we call it a quarter because we're actually only seeing a quarter of the moon. Next is, is the waxing gibbous moon. So we can't see the back part, but we can see part of this front. We can see this much of the moon here, this front part. So gibbous means that it's more than a half, but less than a whole, which is what we see here, this semicircle shape here. Then we get to our full moon. So from Earth, we can see the whole front half of the moon, but we can't see anything cast in this shadow. So to us, it's going to appear like that full circle, even though we're only seeing half of the moon. Once we get to the full moon, we start to go backwards through the phases. So you'll notice we had a gibbous moon on either side of the full moon. So now we have a waning gibbous. So we can still see that front half of the moon getting the sunlight and the back half is in a shadow. We can see this piece here, this waning gibbous. For our last quarter, or it's also sometimes called the third quarter moon, is that we can't see this back part still because it's cast in a shadow. And all we can see is this part here. So we have, we can see this third quarter here of the moon. So if we split all the phases into quarters, here's our first quarter moon, our second quarter moon, our third quarter moon, starting again. So there's another pattern is that each of those are broken up like that. So we, it looks like half, but really we're only seeing a quarter of the full moon. And then we have our waning crescent. So we can't see this part here in the shadow. And all we can see from Earth is this little piece of the pie. So it forms this crescent shape again. And it's getting smaller, so we call it a waning crescent. Then finally, we have our new moon, which to us looks like no moon at all. So this front half is still being lit up by the sun, but all we can see from Earth is this dark part right here. So even though this other half is lit up, we can't see any of the moon from Earth. 
So now I want you to think about what you might see if you were on another planet. So I'm going to draw us a nice other planet right here. And we're going to call this planet X. So from here, we're going to look at this waning gibbous moon. So if we're on the Earth, this is the part that we can see here, which looks like that large semicircle. If I were on planet X looking at this same moon, that's what I would be able to see is this dark part right here because the sun is hitting the front. So different places on Earth are on are in our universe, excuse me, are not going to see the same moon that we see. So the position of the sun and the moon and the earth gives us different shapes in our moon. So the moon has many patterns that it follows. So after we have a new moon, we're going to where we can't see the moon at all, it starts to get bigger, 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 till it's at its fullest point that we can see. And we call that waxing. So waxing means that it is getting larger and larger. I like to think of it as that it's maxing. Waxing is maxing. It's going to its maximum size. And then it starts to be a waning moon as it gets smaller, smaller, smaller until we can't see it at all. So the actual size of the moon is not changing. The moon is not getting bigger and smaller. Just what we can see of the moon is getting bigger as it waxes and smaller as it wanes. Another pattern that the lunar cycle has is the amount of time it takes to make a complete cycle. So to get from one quarter to the next takes about seven days. So that keyword is about. So if I wanted to make a full cycle, here would be seven, 14, here's my next quarter, 21, and all the way back around is 28. So it takes about 28 days. So that's actually an approximation. The actual time is 29 and a half days. But to keep things a little simpler, we'll just think about it in groups of seven. So if I had a full moon and I wanted to get back to another full moon, it would take me seven, 14, 21, 28 days, about 28 days to complete a lunar cycle. So now think about this. If we're here at a new moon, how many days would it take to get to a full moon? So each quarter is seven, 14. So from a new moon to a full moon takes about 14 days.